So today I had an interesting situation. Right, Mina? Mina Lee? Check out this clip. Okay, yeah. I'm walking home in the rain now from what was supposed to be a good training session gone sour. Um, as you can see, well, it's raining and I didn't even finish my exercise, but I'm all nasty wet. Um, I raced today to the boxing club to go see a boxing match and, uh, well, it was a foreigner against a Korean. The girl was from China, okay? She clearly creamed the girl. And the girl from Korea? I'm sorry, but she did every mistake that I did wrong in my fights. Now, what blows my mind is the Korean girl won. She almost got knocked out. Her face was all puffy. She didn't get... For every like five shots the Chinese girl got in, she got in like one shot. Then there's the title match, which is this Kim whatever. I don't know her name. I should know her name, but I don't. Against this other Chinese girl. So everyone's like, oh, Amy, come watch it. And I'm like, why would I watch it? I've already clued in that this is Korean boxing. No matter how bad the Korean girl is, she's gonna win. So, I, I talked to Yoonjip about it, and he's like, well, you have to KO. You have to give the girl a KO. So I had to knock the girl out in order to win. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's the advice I get. If you want to win as a foreigner in Korean boxing, you have to knock the person out. But if you want to win and you're Korean, you just have to beat Korean. I'm so ticked right now, you have no idea. So, I looked up on my phone discrimination and I showed my coach. And I'm like, you know what, that's totally what is going on here. So. That's just so punk. <laughs> Here I bust my butt six days a week and now I know why my coach has not scheduled me into the fight. It's not because he doesn't want me to get hurt. It's because he knows Korean boxing <laughs> better than I do. You know, like I come from a really respectful boxing club and people there all know my coach. But when it comes down to it, it's country versus country. It's not even a sport anymore. <sighs> I'm not even never gonna post this because I'm so ticked off right now. I got through my like sandbag work and then I just left. <sighs> you know, it's funny. I live in a country that I both have learned to hate and love at the same time. How twisted is that? I love Korea because it's very community oriented, it's very family based, it's, it's got this respect for relationships and this tight bond between friends and family that I really admire and I wish I had more but at the same time this tight bond that I really respect and admire and envy is something that I've also learned that I, I kind of hate and I realized this today when I watched then lift up the Korean girl's hand and announce that she was the winner. And the look on her face almost was like, I am? I'm the winner? Of course you're the winner. You're freaking Korean, okay? This is Korean boxing. And that's what disgusts me. The fact that this Chinese girl came here from China, practically made a fool of this Korean girl in the ring, left her with like, like, a mashed up eye, it was all cut and a swollen face and the Chinese girl looked like she hadn't even been touched. She looked like she had just done like skipping or something, you know? And this relationship that I've, I've both learned to envy and respect and also be suspicious of brought about this discrimination, you know? Okay, you're Korean, she's Korean, you respect each other, you know, you even call each other special names like Nuna and Oni, depending on your age and whatnot. Okay, I really respect that. My boyfriend's Korean, my friends are Korean. I study Korean culture, I live in Korea. I get the point. But the point that I don't get is when you have two boxers or you have two people, regardless of the the culture or the country, the color or anything or age and 
because one of them is your country people you totally give benefits to, you totally side with. You know, like I grew up in a very whitewashed city in, in Canada, but my parents taught me about respect for other people, respect for other countries, and how diversity is actually, actually beautiful and what makes us a beautiful country and beautiful globe and international community. But why don't they get it? You know, you can call it pride, you can call it unity. You know what, in my country, we call it racism. We call it discrimination. I told my boyfriend this, this story, and you know what? Oh, much love to him, because he totally agreed with me. You know, not because I'm his girlfriend, but because he understands, you know, and He's like, yeah, you know, it's discrimination. I I agree, and I'm like, well, what can you do to to change this? And he's just kind of shrugged his shoulders and yeah, what can you do to change this? You know, so like, part of me wants to become as strong as I can and just. I told my boyfriend, if I have another match and I lose because I think I honestly lost, like my my match with Niran in February, people all said, oh Amy, you were really good, you were really good. Okay, I was really good, but I believe, I feel in my heart and in my mind that she was better than me. So I'm not saying I think I should have won that match. I'm not saying that at all because I know she was more mentally and physically prepared than me. I respect that. But my next match, if I lose because I think she's better than me, that's okay. But if I lose, but I think that it's obvious, and it's obvious to many people that I was better than her, you better believe they picked the wrong damn foreign chick to, to make a loser out of. Because anyone that knows me, knows I do not go down lightly and I do not go down quietly and you know I stormed out of the boxing gym on Saturday just feeling so much bitterness and so much ah, I don't know how to ex explain it just I know what I felt and what I felt was just pure disgust you know and correction I've actually seen other foreign boxers fight here in Korea I've seen about 23 or so, and I think about four of them won. And out of those four, three of them won because of knockouts. Now, knockout is undisputable. It's, it's a win. You knock the person out. They can't fight. But the other win, that was a pretty messy fight. It was a pretty dirty and pretty messy fight. And between what's right and what's wrong, you know, you can't sit on the fence with stuff like this. I'm like, what do I do? I give up boxing to prove my point? What point did I prove? So, uh, it all like stirring up again, but it's no matter what you want to call it, whether you want to call it home advantage or pride or whatever, it's still discrimination. So put that in your English dictionary, look it up, learn it, know it, don't do it, okay? all I gotta say.